Hello guys, in next Photoshop tutorial, my name is Marcin and today I'm going to show you how to create this type of manipulation um, kind of industrial manipulation with, with some elements you can call the AGR effect and I hope you guys, as always, uh, this tutorial will be helpful and you enjoy this tutorial I don't want to talk too much, so I'll start at first we need two images I find it on DeviantArt uh, this one industrial image for our background uh, it's not so nice I need to I need to crop it a little and the second image is as usually Fistock from DeviantArt uh, all credits I put in the description if you are interested in at first I need to prepare uh, the background I use crop tool Okay, so right now it looks uh, quite better. Um, I changed the image size because it's too large. I do like this. And okay. Now I need to prepare the background, so I duplicate this layer and call this maybe highlights. Then I go to image, adjustments and shadows and highlights. At first shadows, if you didn't see this, as you see, click show more options and it shows you more options. So at first I want to make my shadows little darker to add some contrast also add some amount in highlights to make it darker and color correction to take some colors maybe add zero and meet some contrast and as you see, now we get this nice shiny effect. We get more contrast right now. But for me, it's still something wrong with this image. Uh, I'm not sure what is wrong. It's too bright for me. I try to take some vibrance, maybe at minus 15, or maybe more, minus 13. Okay, and use curves. To add even more contrast. If you want, if you want more contrast, you can duplicate this highlights layer, and then change blend mode to soft light. As you see right now, we get more contrast and it's more darker. You can also use overlay if you want, but I prefer soft light. Screen makes your image uh, brighter, but we don't want this, so I prefer soft light right now. Okay, and, and we prepare our background, so then it's time for our model. It takes uh, some time. It takes a few minutes because I need to uh, cut her from the background using pen tool as always. Right now, uh, we need to click right. Click make selection for the radius at three pixels to make the soft edges. And OK. Click Selection tool, then again click right and layer via copy to copy this part. As you see, it's not perfect, it's not so soft. I should do this better. OK, whatever, let's try. I need to change the image size. So 
something like this should be okay. Using move tool, I move it to my main project. Maybe right here. And okay, right now we need to clear our edges because as you see, it isn't perfect. So I need to create, I need to unlay your mask and use regular brush with a black color. Because it doesn't look natural right now. Okay, I think it's a little better right now, so now maybe we can use Dutch and Pen tool. Create new layer. Go to Edit, Fill, and fill this layer with 50% gray. Change Blend Mode to Overlay. It creates this layer invisible. And now I use Dutch to exposure at 30% and range and mid points is OK. And um, then to export that 20% to add some black parts. And now maybe I duplicate this layout model and also call it highlight. And the same as uh, on the background, image adjustments and shadow and highlights. I put some amount down to 50% and add some amount in highlights to make it darker. Add some mid-tone contrast to increase the contrast on the model. And put down some color correction about zero. Okay, take a look. Now go to hue saturation. I need to desaturate this image a little, if not too much, and I put saturation about minus thirty-five. 
Okay. Nice, good idea. Now it's good idea, as always it's good idea to add gradient map. But change blend mode to soft light because it's too strong and maybe opacity about 70% and select your gradient map. I'm not sure what I exactly want right now. Maybe this one. Uh, this is photographic tuning gradients. You can find it here by clicking on this icon and then click photographic tuning and click a pink or OK. I already have it, so it's not necessary. It's very darker. I, I, I need to. So it's almost done, but it's not finished. Uh, we can add some lighting effects also. We can add uh, some brushes to add special effects. When we can add, we can add some special effects. Uh, when we almost finish, we need to create um, a final result. So Shift, Control, Alt, E, E. Uh, if you're working on iMac, it's Shift, Command, Alt, and T, of course. Convert this to a smart object. And for this, I use Perfect Effects 4, um, but I use a free version of that. Uh, I put the link in the description if you want to download it. It's um, called Perfect Effects 4 free version. You can also use full version uh, as a trial for 30 days and click download. Uh, when you install it, it's automatically installed to your Photoshop and then click Window Extensions and click On One. Then go to Perfect Graphics 4. I want to create really strong HDR effect and really strong contrast. She's maybe too dark on the face, I'm not sure. Um, I should make it a little lighter maybe, but I want to really strong effect. Can you use And for this, I use tonal contrast, but I put only about 60 amount to this, because uh, I apply also HDR effect, so it will be really strong. Add another layer and take a look what we can make using HDRs. I think this is too strong, uh, so maybe I use uh, the natural look. It looks uh, very nice for me. We can add another another layer if we want to add some uh, color uh, effects. We can also add some sharpen. But I put only on 35, maybe even 30. It wasn't necessary. I have really a um, strong uh, HDR effect out now, and I didn't have too many color effects. Um, it's uh, it's quite sad. Because I want to add some some colors effect. It isn't uh, also too good for this, uh, but it looks much better with this effect. I put about forty, and I think it's okay. And then uh, when we finish with our perfect effects, for click apply, and we get our effect. Take a look, I think it looks really amazing. Uh, if, you, if you're looking for 
really strong HDR uh, effect, really strong HDR manipulation. Uh, you can create something like this if you're looking for industrial uh, style images. So it's uh, it's all I think. Uh, as I said before, you can add much more effect, much more color effect. If you're looking for something different, you can use full version of uh, for, uh, Perfect Effects for uh, probably then you can create something more amazing. Okay, thank you for watching guys. If you have any questions or any opinion, please leave a comment or send me a message. Uh, also, if you have any idea for tutorials, you can write it in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you next time.